friend, long time no see. Uh, it's Natathy, but you can call me Nat. I am back from a concussion and a cold flu type situation. Back at it, the pin is back. No naps for us this time, because we're just OG and we're heading off to the ticket office, maybe? But there's a, there's a, <gasps> Okay, I'm very excited. I used to love those as a kid. Oh my goodness. Sorry Land theme park, full of life and energy. Adult, 6,001. Child, 3,001. 30 plus groups, 15% discount. <laughs> For other discounts, ask at the counter. That's a lot of counts. I wonder if that's expensive or not, because I, I don't know much about one. I feel like it's pretty cheap. Probably cheap for the time. There are unintelligible letters written on it. Hmm. Hopefully nothing suspicious. <laughs> Oh no. Wait, what is this? I, s I swear something happened there. Oh, okay. Nice. A leaflet printed with unreadable human letters. Um, <laughs> okay. Why? Let me go off, I guess? Oh, wait. Why does this feel like the right way, though? It's too late, isn't it? No, but there was there was nothing at the swans. There was nothing there. I, I don't think. Right? Okay, I think that's the right way. So let's, let's... Oh, no, no. We can't go up there. Never mind. Well, like we could totally go to the left, but no, there is some um, some water blocking our way. <gasps> but now it's not. Ha ha ha! We win. Ooh, except I don't know. <gasps> that that scared me for sure. <laughs> Oh, okay. Not me, just like... Not getting that right. Okay, we're good now. We're good. <gasps> These bubbles are making me sad. Because we're not doing a very good job. Okay, here, we'll, we'll run. <gasps> Okay, that is, uh, that is the closest we've gotten. And you know what that means? We have hope. And if we have hope... We get what we need. We get what we need. The world provides. Nature is healing. I'm getting a bad vibe. That weasel we gave the slip earlier might still be nearby. Um, please no. I have already, uh, dealt with that. <laughs> I don't want to deal with more of that. That's, that's too much. Oh. Oh. That's all it was? Okay, never mind. I thought, I thought it'd be more than that, but I guess, I guess not, you know? And that's okay too sometimes. And I like this one. That one was easy. <laughs> I say that and it was definitely not easy. It's okay. I was good at timing. You know? Timing. Timing is hard. But I feel like if, if you believe in yourself... can do anything. You can be the bunny you've always wanted to be. 
Oh gosh, this um, this one's gonna be a, a fiasco, I think. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know how that worked, but we did it. We are slaying. <gasps> and falling straight into the water. <gasps> that was pure luck. That was pure luck. I do not know how, but my fingies just... Oh, but I won't be able to go back up there. I hope it doesn't matter which route I take. I really, really hope not. Or maybe I should go back. No, I can't go back. can't go back. This is it. Uh-oh. That's a little spooky. <gasps> okay, um... So we won't fall for that trick. <laughs> oh, here. See, we got me missing stuff. Oh, no. Oh, I know this is gonna be like so rough. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe, maybe if I just like skip it all. <laughs> okay, I think I need it. I need to keep it on though. <gasps> this one is gonna be very difficult. I already know. I already know. I was like, oop. Hey, that didn't- I didn't die! I didn't die! <laughs> that counts for something, right? <laughs> a fragment in the shape of a leg. It has a fishy smell. Okay, but- but that's- that's great. We needed that. Now I guess you can just fall into this kind of scary place. Oh, here we go. I didn't even realize there was one here, so... Let's read it. And hope, hope nothing bad comes out of this. Another weasel is nearby. Spotty got injured pretty bad trying to lure out the weasel. He doesn't look good. Must run! No, not yet! I didn't even get to check out the thing yet! Ah. Should I just I It literally is telling me I can't I can't I'm so sorry. I uh, I I fudged up a little. Ah, uh, darn weasels. <gasps> no. Oh no. Okay, pure luck. I am. Oh, oh, that was that was not good luck. That, however, was. Oh, I gotta go fast, but I'm trying to go too fast, I think. Oh, no. Oh, that's water. Oh, oh okay. I literally just got here, like... Oh, no. Oh, no, he just zoomed. And I did not zoom. Oh no, bud, bud. We have to go. Please, please. No! <laughs> Almost. It's fine, it's fine. I believe. I believe. 
have in the need for bunny speed. See? Oh, oh. oh, that was like the edge. That was that was totally the edge. That was the edge of glory. Please hurry! Please, we have no time to waste! Help! Leap, you finally made it! No, no, run! Leap, are you okay? I heard a weasel was chasing you. Captain, now isn't the time for that! That thing is still after me! What? What, what now? If we cross the bridge, it'll just follow us. I'll quickly run over and raise the bridge. I'll raise the bridge so that the weasel can't follow us while the rest of us cross safely. Do you think you can do it? If it crosses as well? Then I'll deal with it. No, Mont Blanc, don't do anything. Just stay put. Uh, anyway, we need to leave. Literally, we gotta we gotta run for it. Oh no! Oh oh, thank goodness they're fine. Weasel gonna get stuck. <gasps> Not long, no! just happened, right? That did not just happen, right? Please? We buried our beloved friend Spotty here. Rest in peace, friend. We will meet again. Spotty's loving friends, George, Woody, Aoife, and Milk. No! This wouldn't have happened if we... If we didn't go up in this scary place and just let Mont Blanc do his thing. Have you searched everywhere near the shore? Yes, but I couldn't find it. Same for us. Phew, at least we managed to fish Mont Blanc out. Oh my gosh, thank goodness! Thank goodness! Oh, Mont Blanc's okay. Mont Blanc's okay. Breathe, everybody. Mont Blanc really loved that red box, you know. But why was it so precious to Mont Blanc? No one knows exactly. Just that, well, that day. Alright, let's start suturing again. Why? What happened? You guys can stop now. You don't have to look for it. I'll dig a burrow. Let's take a break. Mont Blanc, are you okay? He's already gone. He's so hurt. He's so hurt. So what's this about, Captain? There's something you're keeping secret, isn't there? This is about Marin, isn't it? Mont Blanc's little brother? That's right, Lieb. So you already know some of it. Do you really want to know, Lieb? Then talk to me later. Uh-oh. All done. Calm down. I don't know why. I thought I said calm down. It's calm. Calm down. Let's go, Lieb. Oh, no. Mon Blanc, were you thinking about your little brother? That weasel made you think of him. I dream about it a lot. What would it have been like if I could have stopped that weasel from killing my brother? I was able to save you guys from another weasel today. But why does my heart still feel heavy? Because it won't bring Marin back. But Bianca! Mont Blanc, it's time you let it go. 
I know how precious that red box is to you. I, I don't know what's in it, but it must have something to do with Marin. But it's time to let your brother go. In that red box, too. Mont Blanc, you saved everybody's lives today. That's enough. Don't let your guilt torment you anymore. It's what Marin would have wanted as well. Yes, you're right. Mont Blanc, I hope you don't feel sad. So I'll sing a great song for you. Uh oh. <laughs> if you don't want that, I could recite the tale of a rabbit that lost its wings for you. I wrote it myself. Aww. He needs hugs. Give him hugs. He's probably so cold and so sad. Mont Blanc, do you hate me that much? Because I'm grateful to everyone. Not the little tears in his eyes. I'm definitely not crying. No, you're not. I am. You're not. It's okay. I'm not. Please, please cuddle up to him or something. This is, this is so sad. This is hurt. Wait. Don't come over here, Lieb. Holy moly! Why did you suddenly stop? Hang on. Did you turn around to cry again? Uh, what are you talking about? Whatever. I'm already embarrassed about crying earlier, so no, I'm not crying. I'm just worried about you. Anyway, this is really strange. What is? It's written on the map to go down from here. But I don't see a way down. So I've been thinking that maybe... Maybe the ground will collapse if we step on a certain spot? There's no way. Whoa! But what the... <gasps> Josie! Is... Is he alright? Did he fall down there? Is... Is... Josie dead? Dead? He's not dead, don't worry. Josie! Josie! Hey! Can you hear me? 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 I didn't do a really good effect. Here again, again. Hey! Can you hear me? Josie, are you okay? This is amazing! It echoes so much in here. Here, here, here. You don't have to shout so loudly, Josie. Are you alright? Of course! I used the break fall technique Bianca taught me a long time ago, and I didn't get hurt at all. You can breathe now, Captain. <sighs> Everyone come down here! One of George's statues is here. This must be the right path. Oh my gosh, we're going underground. We're going underground. I'm going underground. Chapter 3. Old Promise. <gasps> oh, this is very cool. Oh, very cool. We were barely able to find the passage that led to this place. Do these expeditions and records have any meaning? I want to see Spotty again. What can I do when I miss a friend I'll never see again? Right now, we're just running around like mindless drones. Aoife. Oh, that's so sad. Ugh. That hurts my itty bitty heart. Ugh. I've never seen such a huge burrow. This seems to be a very old rabbit burrow. Is this as big as the cage? This is much bigger than the cage. I'm in awe of its size. But is anyone here? It's too quiet. Did something happen here too? Is anyone here? Hello? No one's answering. I guess there's really no one here. <laughs> Good thinking. <laughs> Hello? Uh, murderer, are you here? 
No, great. <laughs> I'm safe. <laughs> Sorry, my brain. The rabbits who lived here must have all died a long time ago. An ancient rabbit civilization buried deep underground for years. Rabbit burrows are already underground. You cried and thanked us earlier. Just saying what needed to be said. All right, all right. Let's get through here quickly and get to the exit on the other side. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm excited to see what new mechanic we got. Oh, but look at that. That's so gorgeous. Oh, I'm very excited for this. It's time no skipping the seas. I'm so sorry. Farewell. This filled with hope and dreams. Some of the letters are obscured and can't be read. It looks like the entrance of a rabbit burrow. I wonder what it says. Of a... Uh, honed, maybe? I don't know. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Wait, this is a very fascinating place. I've only seen things like these in book. Are those shards just flying around? Weird, okay. In a book? Yeah, it was about an ancient rabbit civilization that existed several decades ago. It was talked about like a legend. But I read that it fell to ruin in a single day. Why did they fall into ruin? No one knows. There are only theories. This place couldn't possibly be it, right? I mean, maybe. I feel like it could be. What are these things? The squares behind you. Well, we can infer from the color of the painted surface. You see the blue dye stains on those rectangular surfaces? I bet they glowed bright blue years ago. Did the ancient rabbits like blue? <laughs> yeah, blue is a color that isn't commonly found in nature. That's true, actually. I don't see a lot of blue. Seeing that they're, they used blue here, my guess is that these are very holy artifacts. Interesting. I wonder what he knows. Holy artifacts? Yeah, I don't know exactly what they are though. Seeing that there are quite a few of them, and not just one or two, this wasn't just a huge burrow. This was a huge rabbit burrow that achieved the pinnacle of civilization. But all we can hear now are the sounds of machines. I know, hundreds or maybe thousands of rabbits must have lived here at one time. That's really cool. Bun buns. Then why isn't anyone here now? They were probably stuck by a natural disaster or something that couldn't have been avoided. Is it just me, or is the ground here rather sticky? Now that you mention it, yeah, it does seem rather sticky. There seems to be traces of something that covered the ground. The burrow hidden below must be massive. Yet that burrow must have gotten submerged in something that could fill up that entire area? That doesn't sound good though. <laughs> that sounds bad. We, we don't want that. <gasps> oh, this is exciting. Oh, I like this. This is good fun. <laughs> I say as I like completely miss everything. Okay, should we talk first or nah? Have I been... <gasps> no. No! Please tell me I don't have to restart. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, they're, they're playing a prank on me right now. I have no idea how to get there. Except maybe a bounce on the side. Okay, we're gonna do that before before we talk to um, our love. <gasps> I say our love, but they're probably more like brothers and sisters, so. Oh, there, there we go. See, easy. See peasy lemon squeezy. What we got, what we got. Oh no. I can't believe Spotty died. She would have also loved this bouncy ball. No, that's so sad. I can't. <laughs> Bianca? What are you doing here? 
Oh, nothing. I saw this bouncy ball and it reminded me of the old days. Oh no. We are thinking about the past. When I was little, I used to play with a bouncy ball like this in the cage. You play with a toy this big? The one I used to play with wasn't this big. But I had a lot of fun playing with a small bouncy ball that looked like this. After seeing that, my parents... Always brought an armful of bouncy balls whenever they returned to the burrow. Even after I'd lost interest in bouncy balls. It must have been a great time. For you and your parents too. That's right. I'll never be able to turn to that time though. Are there other rabbits? It's unlikely. Maybe the machines are still running because someone's looking after them. I doubt it. The machines will run until they are completely worn out. But it's a wonder that they are still running when the burrow looks so old. Who knows? Both these machines may still be running even after all of us are dead. Okay. Um. It's a little grim, but... I mean, I get it. I get it. Oh my gosh, this place is so cute, though. Oh! <laughs> Don't worry, I know the trick. Oh, what did I think? There's something there. Okay, it's okay. We'll talk to Mont Blanc. Our love who saved us. Mont Blanc, you're really okay, right? Yeah. I don't think so. Blanc, you lost your precious red box because of me. No, don't worry about it. I'm completely fine. Then why were you just blankly staring off into space? I was thinking about what material that object up there is made of. It's a very unusual material. There's something even you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love that because it means Mont Blanc's definitely the smart Alec in the family. It looks like a special process was applied to the material. Without that process, even a very small amount could expand exponentially in volume. You mean it's made of a dangerous substance? Well, the material would be a blessing if used properly, but it could be a curse if used unwisely. Oh. That's, that's not good. <laughs> a curse? I didn't think that word would grab your interest. Not a real curse, but well, it's like a double-edged sword. This place must be full of that dangerous substance, right? There's gotta be more than was specifically processed like this. Sorry, that was... Sir, complicated sentences. The technology of the ancient rabbits is just so amazing! But back in those days, technology this advanced wouldn't have been common. So, it's not a surprise that a lot of rabbits lived in this burrow. It's kind of sad, actually. Don't worry, I am much better at making things than the ancient rabbits. No, it's not that. It's just none of the rabbits who lived here are around anymore. But their machines are still here, quietly running. I wouldn't say it quietly. <laughs> Yo, leave the dead alone! <laughs> These machines are meant to run continuously until they are turned off. Or until they break down. The technological prowess of the ancient rabbits is impressive in that way. Then again, someone might have been repairing and maintaining them. Hmm. I wonder if we'll meet another, another rabbit. I kind of hope so. I feel like that would be really fun. We just meet someone new. All oh, these bouncy things are, are going to be a love-hate thing for me. <laughs> I already know. Captain, there you are. Can I ask you about what disgu we discussed in the garden and much more... Oh my gosh. Boo, 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 boo. Sorry, the bubbles. Captain, there you are. Can I ask you about what we discussed in the garden in more detail now? 
I know that you only want to tell me about things that are good and happy, Captain. But sometimes, I want to know what happened in Alpha 2. And about things that happened before I came to Alpha. Finally, ask me. Yes! We're gonna learn everything! What happened? Von Blanc said he was going to change the burrow's layout that day. At the time, the burrow wasn't built like a maze. It was very vulnerable to intrusions from the weasels. Marion must have felt a bit claustrophobic or something, so he went out for some fresh air. But even after waiting for a long time, he didn't return. As Josie returned to the burrow, he found traces of Mara near the burrow entrance. There were many footprints on the ground, but it looked as if they were circling round in one place. He could have escaped into the burrow. The entrance was just a few steps away. But to prevent this hungry weasel that came out of nowhere from entering the burrow, Marin had desperately stood his ground to protect everyone from danger. Oh, why is everything so sad? <sighs> oh, I'm not, I'm not, my ears are getting watery. I'm not crying. I want to know more about Marin, Captain. Mont Blanc and Marin originally grew up at the same rabbit farm, but they'd been taken off the farm by different humans. They were eventually abandoned in the park and were reunited when they met at the cage. When his brother passed away because of a weasel, Mont Blanc didn't eat anything and only wept soundlessly. Oh, this is making me feel sad. Maybe I shouldn't I shouldn't be I shouldn't be talking about this. Why does Mont Blanc blame himself for Marin's death? He thinks that if he had built the barrel like a maze from the start, or if he had changed the burrow's layout even a day sooner, Marin would have somehow managed to lose the weasel even if it came into the burrow. The fact that he didn't do anything when his brother was dying outside has haunted and tormented Mont Blanc for a long time. It's already been a year, but he has yet to move past it. He still seems to be obsessed with the red box. This poor box. <laughs> red box. Then does that red box contain something belonging to Marin? That's my guess, but I'm not entirely sure. I wonder what it could be. It's clear that Mont Blanc cherishes it more than anything else of his. Oh, It kind of makes me, me feel really bad. He did save our lives, but you know, at what cost, right? Uh-oh. Cutscene. <laughs> These are... Oh no. Ancient elevators! I've read about them in a book! How do they work? There's a lever on every floor. Pulling it brings you up one floor. Why is it designed to only go up one floor? I think there used to be a rabbit on each floor that would operate the elevators. In any case, there's a lever right next to us as well. Uh, should I pull it? Nothing's happening. Then the lever must be broken. If that's the case... <laughs> Ma Blanc! Hello! <laughs> oh. Why are you looking at me now? Do you think my arc welder can fix any everything? This can't be fixed. Yes, it can. Believe. Believe in yourself. Turns out, it can be fixed. It's still not moving, though. You have to pull the lever. Oh, right! <laughs> oh, nice! Wow! All three elevators moved at the same time! But, why? So, now we have to pull that lever over there to move up to another floor? That's right, Captain! Why did the ancient rabbits design these elevators so that all three move at once? Then, the lever... I'll go pull them! Okay, so leave will. Wait, wait, what? Don't worry, Captain. That lever isn't that far away anyway. 
I was nothing but a nuisance at the pond. I want to make up for that. Why didn't they design it so that the elevators move independently of each other? Get in, everyone! Let Leaf do it, Captain. Does the design incorporate some principle that I don't understand? What are you mumbling about, Mont Blanc? Nothing. Oh? The door closed and now it won't open? Hmm. It's written here on the ceiling in the ancient rabbit language that it'll open when the elevator reaches the highest point. Right. Ancient technology was just stupid. How high do you think it goes? At least as high as where we fell from, I guess. Don't worry, <laughs> it will take us up there in no time. Um, okay, I don't know if I should actually like attempt to do it. So I'll pull, I'll pull one. Never mind. We're gonna die. It ended just like that. Leave. Leave? Huh. How am I going to get up there again? How are we alive? <laughs> How, are we al <laughs> How are we alive right now? Gotta find another way up so I can save my friends. Oh my goodness. Okay, and, and with that, <laughs> we'll end the episode. Because <laughs> we're stuck. We're stuck anyway, you know? Gotta take a break. Next, next run, we're gonna get those elevators up and running, get to the top, see where we end up. Oh, I can't believe that was so sad with Mont Blanc and Marion. Oh, oh, my heart. Heart's been ripped to pieces. But I hope your heart is not ripped to pieces and you have a fantastic, lovely day or night. Take good care of yourselves. Thanks for hanging out with me this long. Appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.